What's up guys, this is my review of the Type-C Wood Eden 2x2 version 2 and this is supposedly to, supposedly to be an upgrade from the version 1 so this is Type-C 2 version 1 and this is Type-C 2 version 2 so I got this from speedcube.se if you guys didn't see the unboxing I'll leave a link in the description so you guys go check that out so now I'll get onto this here, I'll give him an honest, an honest opinion and review on this so out of the box, if you guys didn't see unboxing, I said it was really loose and just was really, really um, flimsy. And it still is at the moment. And I'll go into turning. The turning on this cube is smooth and fast. It's actually smooth. I don't. It's smoother than the version one, which one? This, which this one is more crunchy and thing. And if you ask, if you're asking me which one do I prefer more, I prefer still this one. This one is this turning is good. It's smooth. I do like it, but not as much as this one. I prefer this one more. Because this one is more controllable than the version two. So the turning is all right. Smooth. It doesn't have that crunchy feel to it. It's different. It's I, I, the turning is an is a major upgrade to from the V1. But I do. I can say I don't really quite like the turning on this cube, and yeah. So corner cutting. So what? I've, wait, I'll just go through what I've done to this cube. What I've done to this cube is I've lubed the screws and everything. I've done everything like that. What I would normally do with with new cubes, and I've done that. And the tension. I think this is the perfect tension for it, and I don't think it can get any better. Because I did tighten it quite a bit. Because when I tighten it, when I did tighten it, it still felt a bit loose. So I tighten it more. And yeah, the turning is still the same flimsy kind of feel to it. And yeah, so corner cutting, you, as you can see, my tension is about there. And it still feels really, really quick. It's quite tight, you can tell, compared to this one, oh, which is about right as well. And yeah, it's, the corner cutting doesn't, it's not that great. It's really, really bad. This is a not that great upgrade from the thing. It should be a better or stays the same, retain the same corner cutting ability as the V1, which this one is, is amazing. This one, it just doesn't cut well. It doesn't cut there like the V1 does. It cuts about there. That's about it. And you also have to force it through. If you, without forcing, it probably cuts about there. If you want to force it there, you have to really force it. Reverse doesn't reverse. So corner cutting is not that, it's not improved at all. It's still the you know, it's not the same. I mean, it's not that great. The corner cutting's been... What, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but it's been dropped down. Like, it's been graded down from this. This one is so much better corner cutting than this one. Lockups. Yes, I, it does occur lockups. I'm trying to get the... I'm trying to get the perfect tension where it doesn't, uh, it still can corner cut and it's still pretty good. But I think this is the best tension it can get because this cube is just not that great. Lockups does happen when I do some salt. Let's do a quick random scramble there. See? See, that's the thing about this. It doesn't corner cut well. That's why it occurs into lockups and all that. So let's do a quick solve. Yeah, it's not it's not as easy to control as the V1. I can say that. But yeah. So mechanism, I won't take this apart because the tension is really hard to get. But what this has done, what they what we even have done is they have resized it so much smaller as you can see there. You guys can see the dome kind of thing shell, outer shell. It's so much bigger. When I do it to this one, you guys can see. Where's the light? Ah, oh, it's so hard to see. You guys can just tell it's super, super small. It's been resized down to pieces that have been super, super small now. And it has this kind of mechanism like the C4 does, but without the dome. But it's just super small. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn some lights on. Let's see that. Yeah, you guys can see there. You guys see how small that is. It's been resized down quite a bit compared to this one. You guys can see there. I think that is the reason why it's super flimsy. And doesn't. it's not that great. So... Overall recommendation, nope, don't get this. Get the V1 as soon as you can get if you want to look for a 2x2. Two two. Quickly go grab this one, not the V2. The V2 is just horrible. It's not the greatest 2x2 two two out there, and I think Land Land will be better than this one. So, quickly get the V1 if you want to before it goes out of stock. And, yeah. So, my overall opinion, this, I don't think it's the greatest 2x2 two two out there, and it's not the best 2x2 two two out there. 
So don't get this if you want to. This is quite dear as well. It's about nine bucks. I would go for the Lan Lan if I was you to get this because I believe the V1 they're nearly out of stock or something. They're not producing them or anything. But yeah, so this is my opinion on this cube. It's not the greatest cube out there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.